Hello everyone. In this video, we are again going to solve a PassCat DI set. The question is: In a class 10 board examination, 10 papers are distributed over five groups: PCB, Mathematics, Social Science, Vernacular, and English. So these are the five groups, and all those 10 subjects will be distributed across these five groups. Each of the 10 papers is evaluated out of 100. The final score of a student is calculated in the following manner. First, the group scores are obtained by averaging marks in the papers within the group. So if you want to find out the group score, then we will find out the average of marks of all the subjects in the group. The final score is the simple average of the group scores. And if I want to find out the final score, I will write down the or find out the average of these group scores. The data for the top 10 students are presented below. Dipan's score in English paper 2 has been intentionally removed in the table. So let us go to Dipan in English paper 2. So this is that place. It has been removed from the table. If we read the table here, we have name of 10 students over here. At the bottom, we have been given note B or G against the name of a student respectively indicates whether the student is a boy or a girl. So Aisha is a girl, Ram is a boy, Dipan is a boy. We have these 10 students. We have 5 groups, PCB groups. Under PCB group, we have 3 subjects, Physics, Chemistry, Biology. We have Mathematics group and it has only one subject under it, which is the group only. And then this uh, Social Science group has 2 subjects, History and Geography. Vernacular group has 2 papers, paper 1 and 2. English group has 2 papers, paper 1 and 2 at last we have the final score of all the students so we were given that if i want to find out the group score of a particular person for example if for aisha i am finding out the group score of pcb group i will find out the average of 98 96 and 97 so that will be the uh, group score of aisha for pcb group similarly i'll have the average for mathematics group social science group vernacular group and english group at last, if I want to find out the final score of Aisha, I will I will find out the average of the group scores. I will take the group score of PCB, group score of this mathematics group, then group score of social science group, group score of vernacular group, group score of English group. I will add all of those group scores and divide by 5. That will give me the final score of Aisha. So I hope the process is clear. Let us go to the next slide, check the questions, then we will solve the questions one by one. The first question is how much did Dipan get in English paper 2? So we can easily find this out using the group score and final score of Dipan. Next one is students who obtain group scores of at least 95 in every group are eligible to apply for a prize. Among those who are eligible, the students obtaining the highest group score in social science group is awarded this prize. This prize was awarded to. So basically in every question we have to do something regarding the average of these students. So the very first step here is to find out the missing score of Dipan in English paper 2 as we saw previously. Let us go to the next slide. We will try to solve the first question. How much did Dipan get in English paper 2? So I am going for Dipan. I will find out the group score of Dipan in PCB group. It will be 98 plus 98 plus 98 by 3 which ultimately gives me 98. Then I will find out the group score of Dipan in mathematics. It will only be 95. So 95. Then I will find out the uh, group score of Deepan in social science group. It will be 96 plus 95 divided by 2. 95.5. So 95.5 is the group score of Deepan in social science group. In vernacular group, 96 plus 94 divided by 2. So 190 divided by 2, that gives me 95. At last for Deepan in English group, 96 plus, let me assume that this missing score is X. So 96 plus x by 2 so upon 2 now I have all the group scores of Deepan I will divide this thing by 5 which will give me the final score of Deepan it is nothing but 96 so this will be equal to 96 now I can solve this equation and find out the value of x when you solve it x will be equal to you will get 97 as the answer so option C will be the correct answer so this was easy let us solve the next question now the next question is students who obtain group scores of at least 95 in every group are eligible to apply for a prize. Among those who are eligible, the student obtaining the highest group score in social 
science group is awarded this prize this prize was awarded too so let us check for all those students who are getting at least 95 as the group score in every group see mathematics has a single subject so all of the scores in mathematics are above 95 so in mathematics group score of all students is above 95 if we come to english then 96 plus 98 both quantities are greater than 95 so their average will also be greater than 95 so it can be considered next one can also be considered we got this quantity missing as 97 so 96 plus 97 divided by 2 will be greater than 95 we won't count this 92 plus 94 this will be less than 95 so this student won't be considered because he's not getting a group score of 95 or more in every group after this 95 plus 96 divided by 2 yes will be greater than 95 96 plus 95 upon 2 yes greater than 95 94 plus 95 divided by 2 so this will be lesser than 95 here uh, group score of this student in english group it is less than 95 we won't count this student he will not be eligible for the prize similarly next one 92 plus 93 divided by 2 this will also be less than 95 won't be counted next one is 94 plus 94 divided by 2 less than 95 won't be counted 87 plus 96 divided by 2 this will also be less than 95 he won't be counted now among the remaining ones let us go to the vernacular group we'll check if the students they are having group scores above than 95 or equal to 95 in vernacular group who all students are remaining the top three students aisha ram and dipan then sanjeev and shreya these are the only students for whom we'll check the group scores in other groups See if we come to vernacular group, if I come to Ram, Ram is scoring a score group score of less than 95, so Ram will also be uh, excluded. But Aisha and Deepan, they are still scoring 95 as the group score in vernacular. Only Sanjeev and Shreya, they remain. So Shreya in vernacular, 94 plus 95 divided by 2, which gives us less than 95, so Shreya will also be excluded from the prize and if we check it for the sanjeev he is also scoring 92 plus 93 divided by 2 a score of less than 95 group score less than 95 in vernacular group so he will also be removed now we have only two students aisha and deepan so aisha in social science group she is scoring 95 plus 93 by 2 which is less than 95 so aisha will also be excluded because in all the groups she is not scoring a group score of 95 or more at last we are remaining with only one student who is Deepan let us check for Deepan Deepan is scoring 98 plus 98 plus 98 in PCP group which is greater than 95 so yes this group is okay mathematics group is okay social science group 96 plus 95 yes uh, a group score of greater than 95 then vernacular also greater than 95 in English as well so Deepan is that student so Deepan will be the correct answer option D so this was all about checking let's go to the next one among the top 10 students how many boys scored at least 95 in at least one paper from each of the group we only have to talk about boys so we'll consider ram dipan sagnik sanjeev joseph and pritam agni is also a boy so for all these boys we have to check how many scored at least 95 in at least one paper from each of the group so we have to check every group for all these boys we have to check if they are scoring at least 95 in one paper or not so those boys who scored at 95 or greater than that they'll be counted you have to check every paper for ram 97 is greater than 95 this one as well 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 but in vernacular he's not scoring uh, greater than 95 right and we have to check at least one paper so even if in a group a student is scoring 95 in one of the subjects that will also be counted but here in vernacular group for ram he is scoring less than 95 in both the papers so ram won't be counted we will not check further for him for deepan 98 98 98 95 96 95 96 94 here we can see that yes in vernacular group he is scoring 96 that means greater than 95 or equal to 95 in uh, one of the subjects so we will count him 96 this missing data was 97 from the first question so yes we'll count the pun he's okay with it uh sagnik 97 98 99 96 96 98 
94, 97 in vernacular he is scoring at least 95 in one of the subjects paper 2 so counted in english book he is scoring less than uh, 95 in both the papers so won't be counted sanjeev in the similar manner you can check all other students and count those who are scoring at least 95 in at least one paper from each of the groups you will get option a is the correct answer that means deepan is the only student who is scoring who is satisfying this condition in the question let's solve the next one now each of the 10 students was allowed to improve his or her score in exactly one paper of choice with the objective of maximizing his or her final score everyone scored 100 in the paper in which he or she chose to improve after that the topper among the 10 students was so final score has to be maximized and we have been given that in whatever subject they are writing this improvement they will score 100 in that exam and they have been given a chance to improve only one of the papers of his or her choice so to maximize the final score a particular student will only give improvement in that particular paper in which he scored the least because then only he will increase his marks to 100 it will be the greatest increase hence greatest increase in the final score so let us check for Aisha. Aisha is scoring the least in this subject, Geography in Social Science Group. She will score 100 in this uh, uh, subject. So that means now score will become 100 in Geography exam. So 7 marks are increased from 93 to 100. That means 7 marks got increased here. So this 7 marks, it will be added to the average of all these subjects. So it will be divided by 10. So this will be the increase in average, which will be 0.7. So now the new average of uh, Aisha will become 96.2 plus 0 0.7 that means 96.9 Similarly you have to find out the increase in average for every other person I will calculate it for Ram as well Ram is scoring the least in uh, vernacular group 94 is the least score of Ram So he will make it 100 that means an increase of 6 So what will be the effect on the average? 6 marks got increased over 10 subjects in total So an increase of 0 0.6 in the average earlier it was 96.1 now it will become 96.7 so if you do the same for each and every student you have to find out their new averages you will come to know that Deepan was the topper at last so even this was easy let us solve the last question now the last question is had Joseph, Agni, Pritam and Tirna each obtained group score of 100 in the social science group then their standing in decreasing order of final score would be so now we have to make the group scores of these students 100 in the social science group so in both the subjects in social science group we will make their marks equal to 100 because group score of 100 that means the average of all the subjects in social science group must be 100 that is possible only when all the marks in the subjects in social science group is 100 so we have to make a change in their uh, group scores in social science group we have to consider only Pritam, Joseph, Tirna and Agni so Pritam, Joseph, Agni and Tirna, these four students. So for Joseph, if we go to social science group, 94 and 97, these both will become 100. So increase of 6 in history, increase of 3 in geography, a total increase of 9. So this uh, final score would be increased by 0 0.9 because 9 score of 9 is getting increased over 10 subjects that means 0 0.9 will be the increase in average it will become 95.9 similarly for Agni 95 that means an increase of 5 over here 96 and increase of 4 over here so 5 plus 4 9 total increase of 9 across 10 subjects so average will be increased by 0 0.9 94.3 plus 0 0.9 gives us 95.2 then for Pritam 83 we have to make it 100 so we need to add 17 more 95 we need to add 5 more so 17 plus 5 22 increase of 22 across 10 subjects that means a total change of 2.2 in the uh, final score so 93 plus 2.2 gives us 96.1 at last for Tirna 85 and 94 so 15 marks were increased here 6 were increased here 21 21 by 10 an increase of 2.1 in the final score so 93 plus 7 plus 2.1 gives us 95.8 now we have to check their standing in decreasing order of final score so highest final score belongs to this person this will be one then second is this one third is this one and at last fourth so first is Pritam hence option B and D will be gone if we check the lowest it is this person Agni so Agni at rank 4 
so this option will be gone and this option will be gone we have only option a left so this was an easy question i hope the explanation was understood if you still have a doubt please comment thank you